Hi all. Today I am going to show you how queue managers are communicating to each other in IBM MQ. So let us start. <coughs> I will use Docker image of IBM MQ to run the IBM MQ. Okay. <coughs> Let me start. Okay. I'll show you the command how it works. Okay. So uh, I will start Docker run. I have to accept a license to use the IBM MQ and I have to name a default queue and I have to map a um, <coughs> directory to my local where MQ is going to install in the Docker container and I have to expose few ports to access IBM MQ <coughs> okay so then I am going to name a image name okay let's start this okay as you can see a image ID a container ID is given and uh, it is written by the docker container so we can see whether docker is running or not by entering docker ps kind yes it is running we can access see you can see up 18 seconds okay let's check in browser whether i am able to access or not so i have exposed port 9443 so i'm going to show you how it was okay i'm still not able to access okay let's see whether it is started completely docker logs yes now it is started ibm enq manager default queue is now fully running now i check whether it is running yes it is running okay i can access now yes cc i can log in admin password is password so you can as you can see in the <coughs> queue manager widget default queue is running and default channels are available one is for admin one is for application connection so these these channel types are called uh, uh, i mean uh, it is referred configured as server connection so any client can access this so there are few queues also defined by default they have q1 q2 q3 so we, uh, this is dead letter q we can uh, discuss in the later video about this in detail okay uh, what i'll do is i'll create two queues named qm q manager qm1 and qm2 okay so this is the tab i'm going to create just tab qm1 i'll name it as q manager 1 add one more q manager i'll create q m2 i'll name it as q manager 2 okay okay so i just created a tab but actually q managers are not yet created let me create it QM1 okay port 1415 so 1414 is the default port which is already allocated for default queue I am going to use 1415 for QM1 so one more queue manager I am going to create QM2 and I will use 1416 both are running creating okay now you can see both are running now what I'll do is I'll add widgets for QM1 I'll take the widget Q widget, then channel widget. 
in QM2 also I'll take queues then channels okay see I can see there are no queues no channels created for QM1 and QM2 okay so let's start by creating a my queues in both the queue managers to talk to each other <coughs> first I'll create q1 as a local queue and I'll create q1 as transmission queue I'll create it is a piece local but I will change it as a transmission queue by selecting it and checking the properties so I'll change the usage as transmission and I'll save it okay now I'll create a channel I am going to send a message from queue manager 1 to queue manager 2 so I'll create like this qm1 to qm2 sender it is a type of sender so I'm going to send a message from qm1 to qm2 so let's it channel type as a sender I have to give a connection name so what what should be the connection name connection name should be a IP address of the queue manager running remotely or the same machine so we will we are uh, we are running IBM MQ in the same machine so I'll give as a local host I have to give a port of that queue manager where I am going to communicate I mean the target queue manager port so now 1416 is the target queue manager okay so then I have to select which transmission queue I have to use to communicate it so I have already created QN21 TXM M okay so I'll use Q1 TXM I'll create it see you can see it's created now it is see overall channel status is inactive so let's let's check that later okay now uh, in QM2 I'll create Q2 Q2 is a Q okay now I'll create a receiver here so make sure I have to create a channel in QM2 and QM1 so QM1 in QM1 I have created a channel as sender and QM2 I will create a channel as receiver make sure in Q channel names are same in QM1 and QM2 ok see make sure channel type is receiver create so I have created ok let's check uh, whether I am able to ping from sender channel to receiver channel let's see or ping yes I am able to successfully ping ok let's start this channel ok it started let's check in QM2 whether it is running yes refresh yes it is running now I can send a message from QM1 to QM2 so <coughs> here whenever you want to send a message to a remote queue manager you have to send it via remote queue so I don't have in, uh, any remote queue so I need to create a remote queue ok so Q1 so this is for Q2 ok so I will create as remote for Q2 create so I have to change some properties click on that select properties and change so what is the remote queue you want to communicate so remote queue is Q2 and the remote queue manager is QM2 and the transmission queues I have to use Q1 tra TXM transmission queue well, let me save it ok now if I send a message I will put a message select on this remote queue and click on this put message see hi hi from IBM MQ Q M1 put as soon as I put 
it will go to q2 in qm2 <coughs> okay see i can't say anything here so i'll check in qm2 see q2 i'll just refresh show you see q depth is 1 if i want to see the message just to browse i can see hi from ibm mq qm1 okay now i want to send it from qm2 to qm1 so let's create a transmission queue here also so q2 txm i'll make this usage as transmission okay then i have to create a remote queue also because i need to send from qm2 to qm1 so let me create so for q1 okay i need to change some properties so remote queue is q1 remote queue manager is q1 and transmission queue is q txm okay now i have to send i have to create channel sender channel from qvm2 okay i'll create qvm2 to qvm1 sender connection name is local host 1415 transmission key is q2 t txm okay okay i same thing i have to create i'll copy this i have to create a receiver channel in qm1 receiver create okay now i'll check whether connection is happening or not from qm2 end sender ping yes successfully pinged i can send a message so i'll start this channel see i am starting in qm2 i'll refresh i'll come to qm1 tab and i'll refresh you can see whether both are running now now i can send a message from qm2 remote <coughs> remote queue see put a message hello from qm2 put Oh. Okay, something went wrong. MQ has unknown transmission queue, so I have to configure. I see, I can see transmission queue I am using wrongly, so I have to set it like Q2 3XN M. Okay, save, I refresh, I will send a message. Hello from IBM. Q, U M two. See, I'll check in Q M, Q one. See Q one is zero. Now I'll refresh. You see Q one depth is one. I can see hello from I B M Q M two. Okay, this is how we can communicate from Q manager to Q manager. Thank you.